Fourth graders, Mrs. G here, and I want to share with you a really great resource that I've created for you. So when you go into your ELA Google Classroom, you're going to see a link that says fourth grade ELA Pearl Trees. If you click on it, it's going to open in a new tab. Um, and at the top, it's going to say fourth grade ELA Pearl Trees. And so this is a collection of resources that I have put together, or another word for that is called curated, so that you have a lot of useful information in one place. So at the top here, you'll see some reminders. Um, so you, this reminder says that you may want to bookmark this website, so that means put it somewhere for you to find again. So if you come right up here to the star right beside the URL, you can bookmark this page. If you click it and then under folder, make sure it says bookmarks bar and then click done. It will add it up to this row. You can see I have a lot of stuff up there, but it will add your link to this row so you can find it easily. So if you look on here, you can see a whole bunch of links. So if I go down here, you can see that I have it made into sections, divided into sections. So right here it says frequently used links. And these are all links that you may use a lot in my room. So Google Classroom, Seesaw Learning Journal, my classroom page, our reading counts link, you, my YouTube channel, Padlet, which we will use throughout the year, Kahoot, Biblionesium, Newzella, Flipgrid, and No Red Ink. So you may not be familiar with all of those yet, but they will be links that we're using throughout the year. Under resources, you can see that this says books. So if I click on here, there's some videos about how to find a book that is just right for you. And then there are book lists. So if you're not sure of a great book to read, here are a whole bunch of links that provide that will take you to another site that has a list of popular books in fourth grade. So let's go back. Um, there it is. And what else is here? So this is multimedia creation tools. So if you go under here, this is um, just a place where there are a whole bunch of resources to make visual um, presentation. So Screencastify, Google Slides, Adobe Spark, Manage, PictoChart, Canva, and Mad Mags. You may not have heard of these, um, and we may use them from time to time throughout the year, but they are here if you would like to use them. Research and searching sites. This is a great place. So I have created a list and a place where you can find some really great websites to help you with your search. So instead of just Googling information, I would love for you to use these resources. So up here, this is a video that talks about um, how to use Google Advanced Search. And then right here is Google Advanced Search. But this is, goes to a Symbaloo that has a bunch of other resources for you to look at. Um, National Geographic, Google Advanced Search, the Digital Public Library of America, Library of Congress for kids our own Pleasant Gap Elementary Library, Ducksters, Kittle, Encyclopedia Britannica, DK Find Out, and the Smithsonian Institute. And you may f see that throughout the year that I'm adding more information there. And then this section is a great place to find images or pictures. Um, these will take you to sites that have um, images that you're free to use. So if you're looking for images, I would prefer you going here instead of just doing a Google search. And then later on in the year, we'll talk about this historical figure part. And there's some more spelling resources. As the year goes, we will this, I'm sh this collection I'm sure will be changing, but I just wanted to give you an overview of what's there and show you kind of how to use it.